Hey, hey coyotes. coyotes! Welcome back to On Campus Learning. It's an honor to see you all again. I'm Alessia. And I'm Skylar. This week we have stories from interviews with real news people to keeping up to date with your favorite video games. Stick around, you'll want to see this. Roll the intro. First up, Karis and Lola have an interview with Amanda Valionis, the sports reporter for San Diego CBS News Network. Let's see it. I'm Karis. And I'm Lola. And today we are bringing you a very special interview with the one and only Amanda Valionis, a world-renowned CBS sports reporter. So, so let's, let's get, get to it. it. Today, Karis and I had the privilege to ask Amanda Valionis some questions about her job as a CBS sports reporter. This is Amanda. So I report right now on two sports. I report on golf and also on NFL and college football. I've been doing this particular job with CBS since 2017, but I have been in the broadcast industry since I graduated in 2008. And I probably had my first real on-air TV job in 2009. There are so many parts of my job that I love. I love the travel. I love that no day, no two days are ever the same. I love the people that you get to meet and the connections that you make and the relationships that you build. Um, honestly, pretty much everything about my job, I, I just love so much. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. I'm Karis. And I'm Lola. Oh, sending it back to the Anchors. Now we have Colin McGoldrick to talk about the upcoming Roblox Metaverse event. Take it away. Hello there, I am Colin. I'm going to explain the Roblox Egg Hunt, if I could even call it that. The Roblox Egg Hunt has been cancelled and replaced with a Metaverse Hunt with 180 Roblox games having a challenge in them to, to help the team you chose to get points. The mascots are all Arthur, so everyone hates them because everyone hates Arthur. When the all the challenges are done, the team with the most will win the competition. There is a total of four teams and they're being shown on screen now. The 180 games have been chosen and it was announced a while back. Now back to the eight. Who here doesn't like sweets? Not me, that's for sure. Here we have Alyssa showing us how to make a few quick and easy desserts. Take it away, Alyssa. So we are making chocolate and caramel pretzel bites. The first thing you'll need is semi-sweet chocolate chips. Then you'll need small squares of caramels that are microwavable. Then you'll need a microwavable cup and any sort of decoration that you'd like. Finally, you're going to want pretzel rods. Microwave caramel squares for one minute and make sure to mix. Then carefully place caramel on pretzel rods and be sure not to get it everywhere or touch it. The caramel is going to be hot. Also microwave the chocolate chips for one minute and be sure to mix as well. Then put the chocolate over top the caramel. Add toppings as desired. And finally, enjoy. How do you feel about being back in person? Not too much to worry about though since we're leaving in only a few weeks. Speaking of summer, I'll switch over to the green screen in just a second to take you through the most beautiful and the safest places to visit in America this summer. Hey coyotes, do you have any summer plans? If not, I can help you out. Whether it's just a week or the entire two months, I got you covered. Number one, Maui, Hawaii. When you arrive in Hawaii, there's a mandatory 10-day quarantine to ensure your safety before leaving your room. 
I know it sounds like a drag, but Hawaii has the lowest amount of cases of any U.S. state. Tourist favorites include whale watching, tidal pool swimming, and blue whales. Number two, Crater Lake National Park in Oregon. It has beautiful trees for the nature lovers, tons of cool wildlife, and of course, the lake. They have designated areas where you can swim, but beware, the water is usually pretty cold. Number three, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I came here last summer and went whitewater rafting with my family and it was so much fun. The hotels are pretty affordable and the food we had there was great. I also recommend checking out a few of their art galleries. You won't regret it. Number four, Zion National Park. This park is giant and beautiful. It has huge mountains and the hikes there are gorgeous. I've been once and it's so hard to describe the unique mountain ranges and animals. Have fun this summer, coyotes. Thanks for watching, setting it back to the desk. I can't wait for summer, but obviously we're back in school for right now. So in the meantime, we have Skylar and Addie interviewing kids about their full-time return. Hey coyotes. Today we interviewed a few students to see their opinion on the five-day return. Let's take a look. Um, I feel like I like the five-day schedule, like going back five times a week, but I feel like sometimes the long periods are way too long. Um, and I feel like the weekends are really good at the weekend. Um, my feelings on the five-day schedule, I really like it, um, being back in the classroom has helped me a lot. The online schooling was kind of hard, then I think in the classroom with the teachers talking there, just like seeing what they're doing. Um, and I think, I think overall it's, it's easier, just overall. I like the new schedule, I like being back, um, especially since we've been gone for so long. Um, it's a nice, it's nice getting back to normal. Um, I like having Wednesdays, but I also like being back um, with my friends every day. Thanks for watching, Coyotes. I'm Skylar Roy. And I'm Addie Root. Sending, Sending it back, back to the anchor. Last but certainly not least, we have Alexa here to tell you about her Jiu-Jitsu Academy. Take hey, Coyotes. Away. Today's story is about Martial Arts Academy. It's the Escondido Center for Martial Arts and it's owned by Michael Rebello. This martial arts academy has both Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and boxing. For both of these self-defense classes, there are adult and kids sessions. Personally, I go to the kids Jiu Jitsu class at 5 p.m. and it's an hour long every weekday. So far, I've learned quite a few techniques and self-defense skills in only a short few weeks of attending there. The video clip shown is a day where we don't have to wear a gi, which are pieces of clothing worn in various martial arts, but on other days, a gi is required. This academy is super safe as well. After every class, the mats are wiped down. During training, everyone wears a mask, and before we even enter the building, our temperatures are taken. The Escondido Center for Martial Arts is a great place to learn how to defend yourself, so you should go ahead and check it out. Make sure to subscribe to our CMS TV YouTube channel and turn on our notifications to never miss a video. Stay cool and as always, stay safe. Peace.